Okay, so sometimes people ask me this question of using a for loop versus a while loop. Um, and those of you that have been in my classes know that I often prefer the for loop when I'm working with strings. Um, I, there's really not a hard, fast reason for one or the other. But what I wanted to do is, is give you a quick example. You guys, if you watched the, the looping video, you saw that I built this um, piece of code to loop through a string and give numbers. Um, I built the same code as a for statement for you. Um, and you can see when you, can, when, you, oops, when you run it, they do essentially exactly the same thing. Um, you could argue that, uh, and I do often argue, that this is a little more elegant using the for string. It's a little bit less code. Um, it's taking advantage of the ability for the for statement to, to uh, keep up with where you are. So you don't have to deal with that length thing, right? Because for um, is not going to go out of bounds like the while loop will. So often you'll see me prefer the for loop. Um, one thing I like about using the while loop uh, in classes early on is because you do have to be explicit because it will give you those errors. Um, and uh, while you may say, well, getting errors is not a good thing, um, sometimes learning is a good thing. So by using the while loop and my encouraging that initially is mostly because I want you to see those out of bounds errors and because there will be times where um, your logic, your decision logic really is dependent on a while loop. There's, there's, there's some uh, variable that is not necessarily constant and for loops don't always do that well. Um, whereas while loops give you a lot of flexibility on that. Um, but if you're just simply trying to get through something, you need to you need to go through something, see how many there are. You're not worried about getting out of bounds in any way. Um, certainly for loops uh, are going to be a little bit more elegant, I think. So, so there you go.